This superstar looks determined tonight. Whoa, oh. from behind. They're going to settle this right now. Obviously, there's no way to contain the disdain these two have for each other. So a ring certainly can't contain them. Maybe an entire arena won't contain them either. We may be witnessing absolute mayhem, guys. Oh. He's one step ahead there. Ooh. Able to parry that one. Boom! Oh! He's able to fend off the attack. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights out. Oh. And Lorkin keeps him at bay. Reversal on top of reversal. Oh! Oh! Dodged right on cue. And he's able to fight off Lorkin. He's turning the tables. Nice takedown. Chest. Ooh. It's deep, and I don't think it's playable. Bang! Oof! He moves just in time. Going counter for counter. Oh, man. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Lorkin denies the attack. Neck breaker. Ouch. I think we know what's coming next. Going for it. Looking for the LaBelle lock. He's got it locked in. The LaBelle lock is locked in. Well, this won't. Oh, this is just terrible to watch. He's in so much pain and can't do anything. Boom. Oh, and he moves out of the way. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara on bar. Knockout victory. Wait a second, what the heck? This is supposed to be Hulk Hogan's chance to say goodbye to the Japanese fans. This is crossing the line. I agree, but maybe next time don't say who are you to one of the top superstars in NXT. Not saying this is okay, but that's what caused this.
We are about to see something good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New Jersey. Weighing in at 219 pounds, Jeff Howe. Guys, the caliber of competition here is far different than what he experienced competing in independent promotions. He's had to adopt a different fighting style. It's a hybrid style from his time on the Indies, along with some new tricks he learned at the Performance Center. I think it makes him a very difficult opponent. The future has arrived. A man who bends limbs, joints, and time itself. And his opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 192 pounds, Kushida. Trained in both pro wrestling and MMA in Japan. Kushida was undefeated in eight mixed martial arts fights, and he brings those same submission skills now to WWE. After the despicable attack on WWE legend Hulk Hogan, what was supposed to be his farewell tour in Japan, Kushida has stepped up tonight to punish Hogan's attacker for his shameful assault. It was certainly a shocking scene, Byron, one that WWE fans around the world won't soon forget. Kushida faces a lot of pressure here tonight, competing in his return to Japan while also trying to avenge his hero's attack. Good luck with all that. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. Hold up. We thought Hulk Hogan had returned to the U.S., but apparently not. Something tells me he has unfinished business with the man who attacked him. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. Into the corner now. Oh my God! Fake first right into the buckle. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch! Kushida with great timing. Look out! And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Oh, putting focus on the arm here. Suplex. He's taking some good hits. Three. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Ooh. Four. Five. Oh. Let him have this moment. He's earned it. Six. Here, he may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Send him a Russian leg sweep. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Effectively targeting the arm. Really just laying it in. Oh, Kushida avoids contact. Just like that, he's sent crashing to the floor. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. He can end it here. I suppose you have to take the shot, but it's still too early to wrap up this one just yet. Holy, meet the barricade. Three. Oh, vicious rush. 
awesome leg sweep right into the barricade. This crowd is truly unworthy of his incredible magnificence. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Pass handle from the middle row. Nice takedown. And Kushida is failing to offer any resistance now. Yeah, Kushida has to get himself out of this crisis. Fisherman suplex. We see the attention being put on the torso area. And more attacks to his core could hinder his offense. So much damage inflicted. He misses the target. Short flight by a rough landing. One step ahead of Kushida there. Coming in hard. He's heading back to the ring. He turns it around. As the leg trap, Fisherman suplex. And landing with the double axe handle. Again, the torso is punished. The core of the entire anatomy could dramatically slow your movement down. He's been placed in the corner now. Kushida was ready. Oh, close line. A revolving door of forearms. Ouch! What a suplex! Trap in the arm, and he makes it to the ropes. I knew he could. Think the constant attacks to the core have caught up to him. The body has just been gradually falling apart to this point. Kushida is really trapping their opponent's arm. Cross face submission time. Tap out. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, Jeff. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. They're here! The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 419 pounds, Jeff Howe yeah. and Santos Escobar. I have to give this guy props. He was told he'd never leave the shows in the school gyms and community centers, that he was, quote, good for his hometown. Uh, he risked everything in his life to get here. He had no plan B. It was make it to WWE or nothing. <laughs> Gentlemen, Hulkamania is about to run wild. There is only one, the Immortal. And their opponents first, from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 302 pounds, Hulk Hogan! So between WCW and WWE, Hogan has had double-digit world title reigns. 
Not to mention he's a two-time WWE Hall of Famer and the biggest name in the business in the 80s and 90s. WWE Universe is going crazy! I don't understand why all this hot dogging and grandstanding already. The match hasn't even begun yet. Don't you know, Corey, Hogan feeds off the energy from the WWE Universe. It's gonna power him through this match. And by the way, what you gonna do when Hulkamania runs wild on you? That's pretty good, right? No, terrible. At least you and Hogan have the same hairline. <laughs> The future has arrived. A man who bends limbs, joints, and time itself. And his partner from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 192 pounds, Kushi. This is a man who spent many years as the top light heavyweight in Japan and is now one of the finest cruiserweights in WWE. And who could forget the moment that Kushida defeated Santos Escobar to win the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. turn of events here on Hulk Hogan's farewell tour of Japan. As we broadcast from Japan Hall, the Hulkster returns to the ring to put his attacker in his place. Legends never die, Michael, and some legends never stop fighting. They all stop sometimes, Saxton. This might not just be Hogan's last match in Japan. It could be his last match ever. Dragon suplex! Talk about a bad landing, bro. Suplex. And he sends him into the corner. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Oh, God. John Impact. With authority. And set him up. Oh, I need him. Absorbed some damage already. Right to the kidneys from behind. It's now a big swing of momentum against Hogan. Blend of that Lucha Libre style and power, keeping Escobar on top. Up and down. What a slam. Big reversal from the Santos was ready there. Oh, and a reversal. Headlock takeover. The Hulkster continues to survive. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Climbing the turnbuckle now. 
what an impactful STO. Larian. Escobar showing no fear up there. Here we go. All the way to the outside. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Santos. Six. Six. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Look at him. Pride and poise personified. Eight. Ooh. Nine. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. predicament right here. Getting tossed. He switches it back around. A knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Hoist it up. No doubt that has Hogan phased. Gets the tag. Double axe handle. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. Producing a trampling. Ow, bam. Ooh, listen to the impact. Nice takedown. Going for it. Cross face. He wins with a devastating submission. And they score the win. What a tag match. Here are your winners. Jeff Howe and Santos Escobar. And the winners celebrating together. Great chemistry tonight. The wrestling gods have truly blessed this union. I fully expect to see more showings like this going forward from this duo.